We are in the home stretch as my wife is doing stretches right there. We are in the home stretch of birth baby Cameron. Son, when you see this years from now, I want you to recognize that you are one week away from being paroled from inside your mommy's womb. All right? So she is, we are here on week 39 because we are starting to walk more because we have to get the baby in position. Right, Buddha? This is not Facebook, baby. This is a live video. This is a, this is a, it's a video. This is Facebook. This is what she thought. You see, Cameron, your mommy is a model actress, right? So she wants to make sure she's that best. But I want you to see Cameron. Show, show, show Cameron himself inside there, right? This is week thirty-nine. Um, see, it's week thirty-nine. So, all right. So, explain to people what does week thirty-nine feel like. It's different as far as feeling physically and emotionally. Emotionally, it's positive, physically. It's rough. I'm not sleeping well, I'm peeing all night, I'm aching, I'm tired. Everything hurts, I got a lot of pressure, I got heartburn. Uh, everything that's supposed to happen third trimester to show that it's progressing the way it should. So I'm grateful about that. But on the back end, I'm a euphoric state. I'm excited to. Me, my son, our son. You heard she tried to clean that up. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we are in the gym today to do some walking because walking is very imperative for getting the baby in position, making sure things have a smooth exit. All right, y'all. Week 39. This is Sunday. We are officially full term. Yay! Full term. And my wife been having Braxton Hardner bricks more and more. She having one more right now. She just had a contraction. She just had a contraction. Oh, she had a contraction. It's an infection. Loving you, contraction. All right, y'all. I love y'all. We thirty nine. Let's get it, baby. So we just finished an amazing thirty nine week workout and we're going to celebrate our hard day's work at Denny's. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Now, don't get it twisted. Working out is really about just the positioning of the baby. It ain't really about losing weight right now. You're just putting the baby in the right position. Walking it out. That's it. But we're going to celebrate because my baby said she wanted some country fried steak Man. on top of gyros, on top what? of Philly <laughs> cheese steak, mixed with eggs, a slice of ham, and a dag water. Don't <laughs> Cam. Only half that is true. All right, Cam, Cam. All right, y'all. Y'all know what time it is. It is our last checkup. We are in 30, 39 weeks. And some change going on 40 weeks. Look at that beautiful belly. 39 and 3 today. 39 and 3. Oh, Thursday. Today, Thursday. 39 and 4. Thursday. Yeah. yeah. So we are on our way to our checkup. Maybe this is the last. Maybe this is the next to last. We don't know, Kevin, because you are so elusive. You don't want to come out. My baby, look at the mama. She chilling with the baby out, getting some air. Look, y'all, she got her head in. Look, she, she uh, what they call a birthing hairdo ready. Show what the, show what they looking like, baby. What they looking like? Huh? Push it, look, y'all. Push it. Push it. We're on our way to Northwestern Hospital in Chicago. And 
Now we were trying to go to Elmhurst with eight trips. So we gotta go all the way to Northwestern. And uh, so we'll see what they uh, say. Maybe we gonna be having birth. Maybe we won't. We'll let y'all guys know. Peace out! Somehow I got my time mixed up. My appointment said it was 140 when they texted me to confirm, but registry just said that a register just told me that my appointment was at 130. But it's all good. I made it. <laughs> Northwestern is always inconsistent with their scheduling. They texted me to confirm that my appointment was at 140. But when I checked in, the registrar told me my appointment's at 130. It's 138. So, but I made it. It's all good. It's all that matters. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to go ahead and start right here in the middle. Just get some picture while we're talking. Yeah. Yeah. One division. That's kind of an academic. Going towards the middle. Yeah. Yeah. And I hear Alicia Reveille asked for a question. So Dr. Venuti should be coming in soon. I won't be able to do a video, but I will be recording audio. So I'm enrolled in a natural birthing course called Love Your Labor. And one of the tips the doctor gave was to use evening primrose oil. Um, to use a capsule at night, puncture holes in it, and insert it inside of myself as close to my cervix as possible and sleep with it overnight. Now the goal is to help soften my cervix and prepare my cervix for labor and delivery. So it's been about a week since I've been doing that. As of last night, I've started using two capsules since I'm 39 weeks now, 39 and four days today. So I'm hoping that the doctor is able to check me and see some progression. So at least I'll know if these uh, natural remedies are working or not. Time to change. Give me a little drape so doctor can check me not having any pains or anything, but I have so much pressure in my lower belly. And like I've been having a lot of Braxton Hicks contractions, nothing unusual, but I feel like something's happening. I'm hoping something's happening because I feel like I've been pregnant forever. So the medical assistant asked me if I was having any pains or anything unusual, which I'm not. Just having a lot of pressure in my lower belly which is normal, having a lots of um, Braxton Hicks. Pharmacy, do you want to keep the CVS and Donner's Grove? Yes, Main Street. Uh -huh. So no deliveries today, but I think I can wait it out another three days to see what happens and just listen to my body, prepare my body, and let my body naturally progress. This is the most important job as a husband, is holding the microphone and the camera to capture all of these amazing moments. Right now, I am also the Abdullah Aligata coach, and I'm the daddy, the husband, and it's shaky. But we are working out because I am emotional support. And then I'm gonna take it to get some more breath. Huh? See that? 
I'm such a good husband. <laughs> Mommy fat teddy bear camera. I always love the classic teddy bear, so. It's not stood out to me. I thought that's adorable. And I'm like, is this the same as this one? Is it dark skin, light skin? You see that camera? Huh? How come the light skin bear costs different more than the dark skin bear? Huh? Build a bear is colorblind. Make a wish. Yeah. This is for mommy and daddy ceremony.
kitten then you are so cold And you wear that dirty sweatshirt with your favorite logo Hello, people! It is I again. again. <laughs> we are 40 weeks and four days Whoa. past the official due date, and we still haven't gotten him out yet. Even after that prayer, <laughs> four days later, that anointing was so strong the baby stayed in there. So we are doing what's called pre-prep pregnancy push, PPP. P pre-push pregnancy prep. I just made that up. All right. We are now in Oak Park. Oak Park. We're now in Oak Park, Illinois. And what we're doing is doing some walking because the more walking we do, the sooner the baby can slide on out into the DMs. And we got to share. We just had a beautiful breakfast at Louisville Park. Our race has given us a really good tip that she was overdue. She did lots of walking, but because she was firm, she was able to have some coffee, and that caffeine helps stimulate. So I had my first cup of hot java today, and I haven't had since January. All right. I'm feeling pumped up, but something's got to give. Something's got to give. How's the baby? The baby's dropping? She said the baby's been dropping. The baby's been dropping. All right. A lot more pressure. Um, being very consistent in my prep. Um, using my birthing ball, rotating on that. All right, so 40 weeks and four days, and we're out here doing our thing. Stay tuned, baby coming soon. Peace. I'm Nene, the fabulous one in the group. 
at this point i'm really just counting down still enjoying the process just trying to take it in not really trying to rush through it well i can already tell that the morning walks are helping me build my endurance and strength because i do remember when i first started this routine of morning walks consistently it's probably about three weeks ago and i would literally have to stop at least four times to stretch and rest because the pressure in my low back was like pretty intense it was really sore you know so i would stretch and help relieve it and continue my walks but since i've been walking more i've had to stop less frequently to do that so to me i think that's a sign that the walks are working hey son i am getting ready for your debut i'm getting my hair cut so that when you see me you can recognize me all right so there's only a couple of hours left and then you will be here and i'm getting a fresh cut because ballards we fresh so remember that we are always fresh and get ready for the dates so be looking out for it This ain't no chamomile tea. This is a drink. <laughs> 